Hi class, today we're going to be talking about implicit differentiation. So as most of you guys know, you're common with explicit differentiation, and that comes in the form of y equals some x expression. And like I said, this is explicit. So an example of this would be, let's say you have y equals 4x squared. To find the derivative or the y prime of this, you would just use your power rule, bring that 2 in front of the 4, so y prime would equal 2 times 4x. And so your final answer would be ax. Now, like I said, this is called explicit. Now, I have a question for you guys. What would you guys use if you didn't have, um, the format wasn't y equals or f of x equals? And then, um, that's when implicit differentiation comes into effect. So implicit, di Im implicit differentiation um, utilizes the chain rule. And um, I'm going to break it down into two simple steps on how you can actually do this. So for implicit, what you're going to do is, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to differentiate um, each term in respect term and respect to x and whenever you see a y term you're going to multiply it by dy over dx. Whenever you see y term multiply by dy over dx. Now I'm going to give you guys an example of this. Okay, so like I said, whenever you see a y term, you want to always make sure that you multiply it by dy over dx. So let's say, for example, you have 4y3. To find the derivative of that, you're always going to make sure you, you're going to do your product rule to give you 12y squared. However, you're going to also multiply it by your dy dx. And you do this because it is a chain rule. Um, the first is two like, equations in one, pretty much. You do have your power rule, and then this y stands for some unknown x expression that we don't know what the value is. So um, the next step, your second step for completing your implicit differentiation is you always want to um, solve for dy dx by isolating it from all the other terms. So solve for dy dx. Okay, so now I think you guys are ready and you have enough knowledge enough to uh, for us to do some examples. Okay, so now we're going to go over our first problem. 4x squared minus 9y squared equals 17. Now we're going to find the derivative of each term. So like we're going to begin with 4x squared. So like we normally do, power rule, that's going to give us 8x now you have, you see that you have a y term, and remember, whenever you see a y, you have to multiply it by dy over dx. So we're going to apply the product rule, the power rule, to give us 18y, and then we're going to multiply it by dy, dy over dx. Um, you're also going to find the derivative on both sides, and you don't normally do this on explicit, but in implicit, you do find the derivative of this side as well. So we all know that the derivative of a constant is always zero. So like I said, in our second step, you always want to get dy dx by itself. So what we can do here is move this 8x to this side by subtracting it. So negative 8x, negative 8x. That leaves us with negative 18y dy over dx equals negative 8x. Now, what else can we do to manipulate this equation to get dy dx by itself? What we can do is divide it by negative 18y. So, negative 18y, negative 18y, the negatives cancel each other out. That leaves you with negative 8, positive 8 over 18x of y. And you can actually further simplify this into 4 over 9xy. And that is your derivative. Hi, everyone. 
for our second example for implicit differentiation, we have the function that we're going to differentiate here. It is x squared minus 5xy plus 3y squared equals 7. So like we said, our first step is to differentiate each of the terms in the equation. So we, here we use the power rule. So this is 2x minus, now to differentiate this, we have to use the product rule. This is your u prime v plus u v prime. So it's going to come out to be 5x y prime plus 5y. And with this y prime, it's just the same thing as saying dy over dx. Um, so after that, and again, same rule applies wherever we see a y term, that's why that y prime is there. And then we have plus, here we use our power rule again. So we have 6y, y prime equals, the derivative of all constants is zero. Now that we've done this, we can simplify this further. We need to apply this negative to these parentheses. So we're going to get 2x minus 5x y prime minus 5y plus 6y y prime equals 0. So this is our fully simplified differentiated equation. Now we have to clean everything up. We need to follow our second step, which is to get y prime by itself. So we start by subtracting all the things that don't have y prime in it. So we need to subtract the 2x and we need to add 5y minus 2x plus 5y. So we end up with negative 5xy prime plus 6y y prime equals negative 2x plus 5y. Now we can factor. We'll take out the y prime from both of these, so we'll have y prime on the outside, and in parentheses we'll have negative 5x plus 6y equals negative 2x plus 5y. Now all we have to do is divide this by negative 5x plus 6y. And what we're left with is y prime equals negative 2x plus 5y over negative 5x plus 6y. And there you have it.